Hello, in this video I will demonstrate how to approve or reject a faculty contract within PeopleSoft. Let's begin by viewing the contracts that need to be approved. Log into WaveNet and look for the Faculty Hire Center. In the Faculty Hire Center, locate the Manage Contracts folder. Within that folder, select Contract Mass Approval. The Contract Mass Approval screen displays a list of the faculty contracts awaiting your electronic approval. You have the option of using the checkboxes to approve multiple contracts simultaneously or reviewing the details of each contract and approving them one at a time. The Contracts Pending Approval Grid will display summarized details of the contracts in your queue. Information is displayed in two tabs. You can use this icon to expand the grid and display the content of both tabs. You may use this same icon to toggle the display back to the two-tab view. Within the approval grid you will see many columns here we'll focus on the primary fields. The contract ID is the unique identifier for the contract. Click here to view the details of a specific contract. Request type denotes whether this is the original contract or a supersede and a modification of the initial contract. Superseded ID will appear if the contract to be approved is a supersede of an earlier contract. The superseded ID is the contract ID of the earlier original contract. By clicking on the superseded ID, this will display the details of the original contract. There are other fields like priority, school, hierarchy, name, and so on. To get a clear definition of all the contract pending approval fields, please refer to the glossary located in the Approver Quick Guide. Continuing on, if you do not need to see additional detail, you may approve one or more contracts directly from this screen. Select the Approve checkbox to approve an individual contract. Next, click on the Process button in the upper right hand corner. Alternatively, if you wish to mass approve contracts, click the Approve All checkbox. This will approve every contract in the queue. Again, click the Process button. To reject a contract and send a note, click the Contract ID hyperlink to get to the contract. Enter notes to the originator in the Internal Notes section. These are notes where the originator may enter information for the approvers and human resources. And this comment area can be used for the approver to send any note back to the originator. And be mindful these notes will not appear on the contract. Once your notes are entered, click the Send Back button to return the contract to the originator for edits. You may return to the mass approval page by clicking on the link Go to Faculty Hire Center. Then navigate back to the contract mass approval page or if you're finished remember to log out of WaveNet. That's it. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.